Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will read class 7th poem, Garden Snake, by Moriel L. Sone. We are often scared of snakes. Whenever we see one, we think that it is poisonous and it will bite us. But are all the snakes harmful? Let's see in this poem. Have you ever seen a snake fighting a mongoose or getting into a hole or swimming in the river? Everyone, almost everyone believes that snakes are dangerous. Some are, most are not. Read this poem on a harmless garden snake. You must have read about the fight between a snake and mongoose in your previous class 6 book. You must have seen a snake going into a hole or swimming in the river. And everybody is scared of snake because they think that it is dangerous, it will bite us, it is poisonous. Some snakes are poisonous like rattlesnake that we have read in our class 6 chapter Desert Animal. But most snakes are not dangerous, they are not harmful and they will not disturb you unless you disturb them. Now let's read this poem about a harmless garden snake. I saw a snake and ran away. Some snakes are dangerous, they say. But mother says this kind is good and eats up insect for his food. So the poet who is a child, he saw a snake and since he was scared of snake, he ran away after seeing it. Because people say that some snakes are dangerous. They say here means people often say that some snakes are dangerous. But then his mother said that this snake that he saw is not bad. It's a good snake and it eats only insect for his food, nothing else. So when he wiggles in the grass, wiggles means move from side to side with small rapid movement. The moment of snake is called wiggle. They move from side to side rapidly. So the poet is saying that so when he wiggles in the grass, I'll stand aside and watch him pass. Now that he is not scared of the snake, so when he passes through the grass, when he wiggles through the grass, he will not run away. He'll just stand there and watch the snake pass and tell myself there's no mistake. It's just a harmless garden snake. And now he is not scared of it. So he will stay there and he will tell himself that it is it's nothing wrong. It is just a harmless garden snake. So initially the poet was scared of snakes. So as soon as he saw, he ran away because people has told him that snakes are dangerous. But his mother said that this kind which he saw in the garden is not dangerous. It is a good snake and it eats only insect as his, as his food. So now the poet was not scared and he said that uh, he will just stand aside and watch the snake pass. He will not run away and he will say to himself that this is just a garden, garden snake and it is not at all harmful or dangerous. See, uh, let's see the rhyming scheme of the poem. When we see the last words, away rhymes with say, so we have given it AA. Good rhymes with food, so it is BB. Grass rhymes with pass. Mistake rhymes with snake. So the rhyming scheme of the poem is A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. You have to remember that there is a difference between rhyming scheme and rhyming word. Rhyming words are the words that rhyme and for rhyming scheme we have to give them in A, A, B, B, C, C. This is the rhyming scheme and for rhyming scheme we see the last rhyming words. Now let's see the poetic devices used in the poem. We have already seen that the rhyming scheme is A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D. Now figure of speech. There are two figures of speech that we can see in the poem. First is alliteration. Alliteration is repetition of consonant sounds in closely placed words. Now in this line, some snakes are dangerous. They say there is S sound repeated in the in closely placed word. And in this line, so when he wiggles, when wiggles, there is V sound repeated. We can also say there is personification in the line. Eats up insect for his food. The snake is address with his. So human attribute is given to the snake. So we can say that there is personification. Now this was about the poem. You can go through the question answer, pause the video and see the question answer. So this was a small and easy poem students. I hope you have understood it. Thank you for listening to it. Do let me know if you still have any doubt and I will answer it. Do comment, comment in the comment box. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.